Yes, I've got my hair cut. So keep watching and find out what happens in July. I am so dead today. Hey guys, it's Danger Debs. Sorry for the noise in the background, but this is the only time I get to talk when no one's around me. Just to let you know, I'm in Inverness for like the week, less than a week. I'm just up to see my family because who knows when I can see my family again when I'm going back to work and my partner is going back to work and we can't drive down to Inverness. So we're down to see my parents and my sister and a little bit more of my family. Also today was the first time me wearing a mask in a shop because you have to wear a mask in Scotland. You can't physically go into a shop without a mask unless you've got a lanyard or saying that, oh, I can't wear a mask because of my mental health. So that's what happened today. Wear the mask in a shop. Getting shoes. I hate getting shoes so much. Like, it just takes forever for me to find shoes. Shoes that look for work, but when I'm not working, I don't need shoes. They just look black. Oh, by the way, look at my nails. Aren't they beautiful? I just did them yesterday. Splat. The nails are called splat. <laughs> anyway, I better stop vlogging before my mum comes back. <laughs> In her new car. Well, it's been new since March, but still. I am so dead today. Like, my brain can't even work with it. Like, I forgot there was such a thing as a Hogwarts quiz today. And then Katie just told me, he's like, oh, it's today. He's like, oh, okay. Good thing I'm not hosting because Ian's doing it. I'm just really dead. The reason I'm dead is because like, I had a stupid dream where someone misplaced my gender. Like, they called me a he instead of a she. And I'm like, really annoyed because that's actually happened in my life. And it's actually bought some flashbacks. I just hate it so much. But you know, there's, there's worse things to worry about in the world. So, you need to stop thinking about it. Another thing I'm thinking about is like, I'm getting a lot of pressure to do like, well not do it, but think about, oh Debs, you should have a wedding. Oh Debs. Get on with driving. I will do what I like. Don't press me into things because I'm right now. It's not anybody who's a fan. It's my family. Tell me to, to have a wedding or start driving or get a better job. But I must say driving sounds better than having a wedding. And that's because never in my life as a little girl I have imagined my wedding, not even the dress, not even walking down the aisle, never imagined it, never write it down. Yeah, I watched Say Yes to Dress and Nintendo DS game to do weddings, but it has never helped with my brain to function. Oh, Debs, can you imagine yourself ever have a wedding or who will be your bridesmaid? No, I can't. Yes, happy that you can have your own wedding, go and do it, go and do the whole event. Me? Nah, nah, forget it. No way. I already just had a contract and be done with it. I'm gonna go for a walk and Ryan gets back from work because it may help get out of this zone. And if I don't, I make badges. And if that doesn't help, well, you know what you do when you're dead. You go to sleep. But there's one thing I have never been pressured into and I'm gonna do it right now. So give me a second. Cut my hair. Haircut done. What do you think? I've always wanted like Hair here, no hair here. Thinking of Little Mix, one of the stars who like had to shave their hair here to do with the X Factor. And I like that. Some people say like, oh this is a haircut that's not going to get you a job. Or any job, like, it's not a good style. But, this is what makes me happy. I mean this bit is still annoying me down the neck. But if I go any shorter, I'm going to do worse to my hair. Because I have over here. But I like this. And if you don't, well. Do you know what? Like that, it's it's quite nice. So it's better than you thought it would be. No, because I thought you were gonna shave it. Which I no, think God, gosh, no. But that it looks nice because the back looks a bit strange. I know what you mean because yeah. like that's half and half, but yeah, I've gelled it up to so make sure it doesn't fall down. Okay. And if I do any more, it's not gonna look good. Okay. <laughs> you think about it, yeah. Okay, but no, from the front, it, look, it, look, it looks all right. Would you hire? Would you hire me for a job? <laughs> well, yeah, it, but like I said, needs. But you know what? If anybody comes up to me, it's like there's worse things to worry about in the world mm -hmm. than just looking at. All this. I'm saying though, I'm not taking the blame for that. Taking the blame for what? For cutting your hair. If anyone says, "Why is your hair so weird? Did someone cut it for you?" I am not letting you go. Yeah, my boyfriend did it or something like that. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> My mum doesn't even know yet. <laughs> Did you get it cut or 
or did you do it yourself? Ryan was out of the house, and this is what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan know that you did it. Of course, he's in the room now. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Don't be afraid. It's just news in Scotland about we have to wear masks in shops now. Pubs are opening. And yeah, a lot of things have changed in Scotland. Everything's open. Bars, restaurants, you can eat inside. Nail art, salons, they're all back. So things are up and running, except we have to wear masks a lot. And I'm shopping alone for the first time ever. Ever since the coronavirus started, I am shopping alone. I mean, Ryan could do the shopping, but he's gone back to work, working in his restaurant. I'm a bit nervous because I'm a bit nervous. The last time I was in the supermarket, I had a panic attack. I mean, I got over it because I went shopping again with Ryan, but I'm going alone this time. So hopefully, I'm going to stay calm, cool, collective. I've got a mask. I want to go all my shopping. I will rest. That's me home. Sorry about the background. I was recording yesterday with a wild Katie up here and we were talking about Miraculous. So that's why the background is like that. <laughs> I dressed up as Marinette. Anyway, besides that, you know I went to the shops and <laughs> I got this. <laughs> it wasn't, this wasn't the only thing I got, but this was a challenge to find this. I needed this for a red velvet cake and I got everything around the shops, but this was the last thing I was challenging myself to get with also the challenge of trying to be okay with the mask on my face but <laughs> and shopping alone but <laughs> I found what I needed I got out but I think the next time I may just do click and collect depends how I feel the next time I go shopping don't know we'll see how I feel and we'll see but for now I am going to put dinner on wash up while I wait for dinner rest and then have this red velvet cupcake I do not remember how red velvet cake was so dry, so I thought this would help. I love red velvet cake, I just, I don't remember it being it so dry in my mouth. So I think this will, this will, you know, change up a little bit. Good morning, I woke up early a day for nothing. Even though I was supposed to have a haircut today, but that's been cancelled. Like, I am shortness of breath. I had a dry throat for the whole night. And I've been coughing. Hopefully, I don't sing since COVID nineteen. That's still a thing today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, guess, guess what? Guess what? I did my nails. They're so pretty. Terrible story behind it. I was doing my nails, and then a bird came over and did its thing. Really? On my book? You're flying, and you dumped that on my book? Are you kidding me? In my life, a bird has done that to me three times. Here, here, and now on my book. I'm counting. I hate birds so much. Hey guys, that's me at Victoria Park. I was just taking pictures for work. Being very quiet. There's a lot of people looking at ducklings. There's like five people watching. Teaching him how to eat. That's three of them. The first time in the water together. So cute. Right, I better head home or for a Mr. Bus and the trains. The trains in Glasgow stop at 10 o'clock. I better get home before I miss everything. I remember when they went on till 12 o'clock, but then that's me just got off the bus. Now I'm trying to get from the bus to the train station. As I walk through Glasgow, I'm seeing businesses reopen, never going to reopen again. It's just a big change for Glasgow. You, you know a lot of businesses are struggling right now, but I can just see what shops are coming back and are never going to come back and pubs that are reopened or pubs that are still trying to reopen. There's no clubs open, but there are some pubs open. But right now, I'm going to concentrate getting home. I realized when I got Chips, home, I pizza, had nothing a really burger, to eat. I think. So a burger. I went to one of the uh, chicken nuggets, ways. gravy, and, and some barbecue sauce. I got a lot to eat, but I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since three o'clock, and now it's well, like nine, whatever. So I'm gonna eat. Hey guys, give this video a thumbs up. Comment below if you like my hair, or you live in Inverness, or wherever, and subscribe before the next vlog. Yes, I'm working, but I'm still on YouTube. And remember, it's the memories who make us. So go out there and make some good memories and not some bad memories.